Yo, Zeke, what's up, man? You ready to shoot the next Wise Guys video? I would love to, but I just stepped off of a fishing boat in Mexico, so I'm not going to be able to help you out this week. What? what? We do need to figure out, we have got to figure out how to buy these corn NFTs on base coming up here real soon. Hey, man, well, I'll tell you what. I'll shoot the first Corn for Dummies episode, man. I got you covered. Uh, well, we're dummies, so let's talk about corn. Let's make it happen. Right? <laughs> let's do it. What's up, Cornucopians? Welcome to the first Corn for Dummies tutorial. This is a Wise Guys Corn Mafia Guild production. I am Jupiter, and I'm gonna show you how to get prepped for the upcoming NFT sales on Base Network. Let's go. So before we get started, this video is for anyone who is interested in minting Cornucopia's NFTs on Base, but it is especially for community members who feel like they need some help, they don't know where to get started, Maybe they are brand new to crypto and they've never created a wallet, or maybe they've been around for two plus years and they've only minted Cornucopia's NFTs on Cardano. Maybe they've never used another chain. So if you fall anywhere on this spectrum, this video is especially for you. So we are in the Cornucopia's Discord on the major announcements page, and we can see that there are several NFT sales coming up. While we don't have all the details, we know that some of these NFTs are going to be sold on Cardano and some of these are going to be sold on Base Network. Of the NFTs that are going to be sold on Base Network, some of them are going to be sold in USDC and some are going to be sold in Kopi. So we are going to need USDC and Kopi and we're also going to need some ETH for gas fees because BASE is an Ethereum layer two. When you hear gas fees on ETH, you might panic, but because BASE is a layer two solution, gas fees are way cheaper. So I'm going to break this video down into sections. First, we're going to create an Ethereum wallet. Then we're going to use a centralized exchange to get that wallet loaded up with ETH and USDC. Then we're going to use a decentralized exchange to convert some ETH to Kopi. And then I'm going to show you where the NFT sales have taken place in the past and what you will need to do to stay updated in case that changes, in case they take place somewhere else. So we're going to start off with making a MetaMask wallet. So with any blockchain, you have several options when it comes to wallets. I like MetaMask because it is so simple and easy to use. We are on the official website, metamask.io. You can see the supported browsers here. You can install for Chrome, iOS, or Android. I'm going to install MetaMask for Chrome. Add to Chrome. Add extension. You shouldn't need to click on any of this up here. It'll open right up. Of course, we're going to read the terms of use before we agree to anything, right guys? Of course. Read the terms, create a new wallet. I'm gonna skip all this, no thanks. We're gonna create a password. Understand that MetaMask cannot recover your password. So make sure you write that down. Create new wallet. Secure your wallet. So now you are going to receive the secret recovery phrase. If you're used to crypto, you've done this before. Using MetaMask, your phrase is gonna be 12 words. And this is probably the most important part of this video, what I'm about to say, which is write this down. Keep this safe, keep it secret, don't lose it. I don't recommend saving your recovery phrase on anything that can be accessed by the internet. You shouldn't be screenshotting it on your phone or on your computer. Write it down, keep it safe. MetaMask does recommend using a password manager. Just make sure if you do that, it is encrypted. So. When we click this button, secure my wallet, they're going to give you a 12 word phrase. 
take the time to write that down. Once you've gotten your secret recovery phrase written down, you're going to arrive at this screen where they're going to test you and have you fill in three blanks to make sure that you really wrote that password down. So fill that out and click confirm. Then you will arrive at this screen, wallet creation successful. Got it? Next, done. Now that we are in our MetaMask wallet, we can see that we are on Ethereum mainnet. We want to be on base mainnet. So we're going to add a network. You can see base mainnet. We're going to add it. Network added successfully. So we are on base mainnet and we can see that we have Ethereum here. So we have the ability to receive ETH into our base wallet, but we want to be able to receive USDC and Kopi as well. So let's import token. We're going to search USDC. And there it is, USD coin. Would you like to import this token? Import. Now we have Ethereum and USDC. We need Kopi. Import tokens. Let's search Kopi. No Kopi. So we're going to import a custom token. And for that, we're going to need the contract address. So to find the contract address, you can jump on to base scan. That is basescan.org. Okay. So jump into the search bar here, search Kopi. There's Cornucopius. And here is the token contract address that we need. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it here in our MetaMask. The symbol is Kopi. Next. And there she is. Import. So the next step is how do we get these tokens and send them to our MetaMask wallet. So for that, we're going to use a centralized exchange and you can find a list of centralized exchanges on CoinGecko. CoinGecko.com is a great website for all types of crypto information. What we're looking for is a list of centralized exchanges. So we're gonna go up here to exchanges and click on crypto exchanges. And now we can see a list of the top centralized exchanges. Depending on where you live, because laws around crypto and the attitude of governments around crypto varies around the world, some of these may not be accessible to you where you live. I'm in the US, but we don't have access to that many. In my opinion, Coinbase is my best bet, it's the easiest, but I cannot purchase Kopi on Coinbase because Kopi is not available on Coinbase. If you want to find out what centralized exchanges offer Kopi, you just search Kopi here in the search engine. There is Cornucopia's Kopi, click on that. Now we're going to click on markets. And now we can see all the exchanges that offer Kopi. If you see DEX, that is a decentralized exchange, we're looking for the sexes, the centralized exchanges. So if you have access to any of these centralized exchanges, you can most likely purchase ETH, USDC, and Kopi all in the same place and just send those to your MetaMask wallet. But I am going to be using Coinbase. So if you want to create a new Coinbase account, you would click here, sign up. If you are creating a new account on another centralized exchange, same thing, sign up, and they will walk you through that process. I am not going to walk you through setting up a account on a centralized exchange because they're very good at walking you through it and making it easy. That's what they specialize in. So if you're going to create a new account, pause here, get that set up. 
Now that we are in our centralized exchange account, we are ready to purchase USDC and ETH. If you're using a centralized exchange that offers Kopi, you will be able to purchase it using the same process that I'm gonna show you here. It is pretty much the same on every exchange. So what we're gonna do is we're going to search for an asset. You can type in ETH here, but top cryptos like Bitcoin and ETH are probably gonna pop right up at the top. So we're gonna click on Ethereum. We're going to make sure we're paying with the option that we want to pay with. I can't speak for other exchanges, but using Coinbase, if you purchase using your bank account, you could end up waiting for your crypto. So using Coinbase, I recommend you pay with a debit card so that you can receive your crypto right away. And like I said, I'm not sure if other exchanges work that way, but Coinbase definitely does. So first, we're gonna type in how much do we want. I'm gonna purchase 25 US dollars worth of Ethereum. I'm gonna check and make sure I'm using the debit card I wanna use, and I'm especially gonna make sure I'm not paying directly from my bank account because I don't want to wait. And then we're going to review order. Everything looks right. We're gonna hit buy now. We're gonna to go to home. We're going to go to crypto. We have $24.74 of ETH. So now I am going to do the same process and purchase USDC. So we're gonna search for asset and we don't even have to type it in. There's USDC. Now USDC is a stable coin pegged to the US dollar. So unless something goes wrong, it should always be worth $1. And instead of them telling you to buy now, they're gonna tell you to deposit cash. We're gonna do $25 USDC. We're going to make sure that we're paying with the debit card that we want to and not directly from our bank account. Preview. Everything looks right. So I'm going to deposit cash now. Order was submitted. Done. We see that we have $24.76 worth of ETH. And if we click on cash, we see that we have 25 USDC. So the next step is to send the ETH and USDC to our MetaMask wallet. In order to send to this wallet, we're gonna need the wallet address. You're under account, copy that, and you're all set. Back in our centralized exchange account, Let's first send the Ethereum. So let's click on crypto, Ethereum. We're going to send crypto, max. Select network and recipient. We're sending to base network. Coinbase makes this very easy. They also don't charge any fees. Does your recipient accept ETH on base? Yes, it's supported. We're going to paste our address here. There it is. Preview send. Everything looks good. Send it now. And we're going to enter the six digit code from our authenticator app. I hope that you are all being super safe and using authenticators for everything involving crypto that you can. So definitely set that up if you didn't set it up when you set up this account. We have sent ETH to our MetaMask wallet. And now we are going to send USDC using the same process. So I'm just gonna click on cash, USDC, send, max, select network and recipient, base, does your recipient accept USD on base? Yes, it's supported. We're gonna send to the same wallet we sent to nine minutes ago because we know that it's the same address. We know we weren't doing anything else nine minutes ago, but to be extra careful, you can always copy and paste. Preview send. Send $25 in USDC, send now. And once again, we're gonna authenticate because we always practice safe crypto. 
done. So now we're gonna head over to MetaMask and we can see we have 2478 USD worth of ETH and $25 USDC. The only thing left is Kopi. We know that we're going to use a decentralized exchange to get our Kopi, and I showed you how to find that list on CoinGecko. Now I'm going to show you how to find that list using the Cornucopia's website. So if we hop over to cornucopias.io, click on Web3, click on Kopi token. There is a lot of cool and useful information on this page, such as what chains you can currently find Kopi on, as well as some centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges, which is what we're looking for. Now I'm going to use the Uniswap option because I see that I can buy Kopi on base. Now, just so you know, you could also go to uniswap.org, but I'm going to use this link here because it's very convenient. They're going to hit you with this disclaimer. This token isn't traded on leading US centralized exchanges or frequently swapped on Uniswap. Always do your own research before proceeding. I understand. Now we're going to go up into the top right here. We're going to sign in by connecting our MetaMask. I'm going to click Next and I'm going to click Confirm. Now I am connected. Now I want to exchange some of my ETH for Kopi. So I'm going to go up here to select token. I can see my coins here. I'm going to click on ETH. Now I don't want to send it all. I want to make sure I have a little bit left for gas fees. Now gas fees on base are cheap. So we're just going to leave a little bit. So we've got 0.009. I'm going to exchange 0.008 for 806.201 Kopi, leaving myself 0.001 for gas fees. Swap. Confirm swap. Confirm. Swap submitted. Swap success. So now, hop into our MetaMask wallet, and ta-da, we've got ETH, USDC, and Kopi. So we are all set. We have created an Ethereum wallet, we've added base mainnet, and we've imported USDC and Kopi, and we have used exchanges to get our wallet loaded up, where is this NFT mint going to take place? Let's hop over to the Cornucopia's website. All of the previous mints have taken place here at cornucopias.io marketplace. This link right above my head. That is where the magic happens. If you go there now, you're going to see a message telling you that there are no NFTs for sale at the moment. And that is because the sale has not started. But if this changes and the sale isn't going to be here, that will be announced on Cornucopia's game official Twitter or X, if you actually call it that. So follow on Twitter. It will also be announced if it changes in the Discord. So join the Discord and keep up with the major and minor announcements if you want to stay fully up to date. Also, feel free to come check out the Corn Mafia Guild Twitter. Come check out our website, cornmafiaguild.io, and join our discord as well we like to get together and game and we like to add value to the community in any way that we can so guys i think that about wraps it up i want to thank you all for checking out the first corn for dummies tutorial this has been a wise guys corn mafia guild production i'm jupiter and i will see you in the cornfields peace mm -hmm.